Good afternoon, it's Jeff and Wilbur at Budroom and this afternoon I'm going to do a comparison between Trigona bees have had a name change. So they're no longer known as Trigona, they're, they're known as Tetragonula now, apparently. Now this is our number one hive, I'm going to bring it over and we've got a coldish day today. And I'm going to do this before it gets too cold and I don't want to open these up too much. So I'll open them up before winter sets in. This is the first native hive that we got. And about six weeks later we got our second uh, tetragonular hive. Because we're in the yellow pages as a beekeeper. So I'm going to remove the covers off these. It turned out when I got my second hive and I thought, oh, yeah, the same as the ones I've already got. And I thought, beauty. And we showed them in our video, uh, in our update on this one, we showed uh, number two hive. And it be started to become, as, as we watch the, the bees work and build their nest and put their honey pots, it became evident that we had two different species. And I'm going to show you the differences. I'm taking a lid off this one. So uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll leave that on there for now and I'll put, bring the other one over because we're coming into winter and what I might do is make a foam box to fit over the top. This is the last time I'm going to open these before spring. So we're going to do our splits in the spring. I took this off once to show the grandson, Daniel. There's a lot of differences between the two. This one here, I've identified it as a Hocking's eye. It's uh, Hocking's, a bloke named Hocking's named these, and they put an eye on the end. <laughs> so I'm assuming it's Hocking's eye. This is the Carbonaria. This is our number one height. Oh, we've separated smell, the brood. Oh, Whoa, we've separated done. the brood. Oh, dear. Uh, that's, oh. no, that's all right. It'll go back down again. Now, now, actually, this is not a bad way to. to holy dooly. What? Now, oh, wow. You know why the brood separated? Why? Because the bees are hatching. See? Now, this is what we showed in our other video. Remember in our other video, our last video, we, we pointed out how that as the brood hatches, it leaves a void and then they come through with the new brood. So you've got the new brood in the center there coming up and then the old brood, as they hatch, it just sort of disappears. That wasn't what I wanted to show. You look at this, the brood, on these it's nice and flat and it spirals around nice and even the brood look at the size of the honey pots there and and look around the the corners of the hive there's no resin in the corners of the hives very little resin uh, basically none at all if you come over if you look at the pots here you get a bit of an idea of the size of the honey pots there Right. Now, if you look at these Hocking's eye bees, you notice the brood, even though it spirals from the bottom upwards and it's on a, on a spiraling pattern, the brood is all uneven, there's no smoothness about the brood. No. And you notice the honey pots are a lot bigger. You can see them where, the, where I'm pointing with the screwdriver. And over here you can see the honey pots on the side there. They're much bigger than the Carbonaria. Now the other thing that's different to these, with these is they've got a lot of resin around the around the bottom. That was the first difference we noticed wasn't it? That was it? the first the difference we first noticed different. and we notice a lot more resin on the lid. Mm. <laughs> We've got bees all over us. What I'm going to do is close them off and well, we've got them all back in the boxes and got the lids on. And 
and uh, oh. anyway, it's exciting. But really pleased that the population on the Carbon area have really built up yeah. when they come out to give us a welcome. <laughs> <laughs> they <laughs> sure come out to greet you. They come out to greet us both. And I had so, one uh, running across my eyeball. Yeah. In the second one, I, I just, it just looked as though they were bigger. They just looked a bit blacker and a little bit bigger. And, and I thought, yeah, the other ones aren't putting that resin in the corner of the box. And, you know, as it progressed, we noticed there was definitely a definite changes. And we looked up the book that we got, and it turned out that there's one species that's 0.5 of a millimetre longer. So that all the rest are four millimetres long. The Hawking's eye in the list was 4.5 millimetres. And I thought that must be explain the extra why they looked a little bit bigger and the brood looked a bit bigger in size and and they build the honey pot so much bigger uh, what else is there and anyway so when we do our split um, we're going to do it different to all the others but and i think my method's going to be better we'll close now we'll catch you later bye